What's going on? You'll know what it is, but I act like it's your boy Fitness. We inside Jim Speed Shop. This is American Garage TV. What the hell we got going on today, Jim? Oh, let's go about to shut this door right here. Shut the door? We got another vehicle to finally release. That's what we got. Man. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The 1955 all original Ford F1 100. Original straight six to four two two three. Um, she recently came in. She had a sick motor. We had to rebuild it. We had to sleeve it on one cylinder. We had to bore and make custom pistons 80 over, and just rebuild the whole thing and cross our fingers for parts in this you know in day and age. Okay. Um, again, 55. So what? She's 68 years old. This is the last time. Mm -hmm. After this, when we're gone, the machinists. And these parts, they're gonna look at this and go, it's it's gonna be a, a flower pot. <laughs> it's got a back bed, you know, so they're gonna put a tree back. <laughs> I'm serious, it's just, it's um, like a lot of things, it's a thing of the past. So our whole initiative, our mission is to keep these old birds alive. Yeah, okay. So let's, uh, let's check this bad boy out. Now the only thing missing on this, and we haven't found one, and if anybody out there knows of one, it's gonna be very rare, we get it. Customer and myself, the customer, will be very pleased to hear about it. It's the Overdrive PT, PTO that originally came with this truck. And if you look, uh, custom cab, where is it? There was, I think he took, yeah, here it is, right here. Overdrive, that's factory, baby. Factory. Man, that color looks more vibrant on your camera. <laughs> All right, pop this hood, get the safety, and oh, all original, baby. Now, what is this? This is a Ford inline six tractor motor. Okay. It's a Q23. Now it's, uh, I don't know, two, I don't know, 236, somewhere around there. Uh, okay. Without doing the math. But originally, uh, I think this came out sometime about 1937 and they were uh, installed in their tractors now in manufacturing especially back in the 50s and the 40s they basically took what they had so I'll give you another example the the 66 pickup we have back there it's got a large Ford bearing race around the rear GM Dana uh, 10 bolt truck differential 66 GMC so they just took little bits and here and there and then got together and amazingly enough we've got that displacement from Ford that is on a General Motors vehicle. And in this case they basically took a tractor motor, shoved it into this truck. Which is why a lot of guys and maybe down the road, they're not they're yanking these things out and they're putting small block Chevs, small block Fords, and it's a lot easier and cheaper. I mean the logistics and the time and again just searching of the parts for an original these days uh there's one company that was repopping some parts won't mention the name we ended up sending a couple of things back so um luckily uh melling of all places did repop the cam we ran the uh the lobe uh profile and actually that was um, that was a little better and consistent than the other guy that was who knows popped in overseas or something but uh, the original cam that we had to compare to a couple of lobes I mean almost 70 years old it just wore out now this was its stamp from LA it was rebuilt back in 72 somewhere around there building still there company I did some research company is long since gone but anyways, again, all original. It's a step side, short bed, basically. It is cool. Let me uh, open up the... Jeez. And to protect his investment, 
we bought the uh, the gauge cluster panel. We painted it to match the like it was if it was original. Nice. Now, unfortunately, this is still a six volt system, so we couldn't get these uh, wired in to light up. But those are auto meter. We got gauges to help you know blend in with the the black, the chrome, mm -hmm. and that they are they are expensive, but it's auto meter, baby. So he's going to know his actual temperature, his oil pressure, and if any of these two things fail, not so much for a voltmeter, but if they fail and he notices that right on the fly, he can pull off, shut the motor down, and keep her safe before seconds turn into, I mean, damage and disaster. Mm, nice. Ugh. Yeah, I don't have to check with the cleaning lady. <laughs> We've had this truck for maybe about a year. Uh, when we pulled the motor, she went back home. She was in storage, and it, it took damn near that just to get all the parts and you know together and get her built. And then one of the other issues we had, um, if anybody out there is listening, the factory dots on the timing chain, both the repop and the original. The original wasn't that bad. They didn't line up. They actually were 12 degrees off. Shit. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Oh, a lot. What it the? was unexpected. Again, you know, because, again, our oldest car was, uh, one of them was a kit car, 1923. So this is 2023. It's 100 years. Yeah. Look at Ford, Chevy, Mopar. It goes all over the place in the small handful of, of the, um, the exotics or, you know, foreign cars. There's a lot. Now, if we did these religiously every damn day, we'd already run into that, mm -hmm. been there, done that, mm -hmm. and we'd be able to keep that in mind. But again, parts and availability, just not there. So, Shit. we succeeded though, that's the bottom line. Look good. And we cursed this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> we, actually, we actually fight and uh, argue and talk back to the vehicles. When they don't, when they misbehave. So we did the bumpers, we painted the side rails, we replaced the axles. I mean, this gentleman's been with us for, I want to say, when we first met him, almost a decade ago, about eight years ago. Nice wood back here. Mm -hmm, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Set myself up for that one. So uh, yeah. This is clean though, man. What what's this color? That is like California green. Is that what that's called? For sure, dude. Cal <laughs> California when in Hawaii, green. Hang loose. California green. That's it. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, it's real nice. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was a color option back in the day. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I have to Google. It's pretty cool. See the axles? That was about six years ago. Dutchman. Mm. We swapped those out. In fact, at that time, kid you not, that thing stunk like crap. It was the original. Um, there wasn't much in there because everybody neglects transmission and differential oil. They always check transmission especially engine oil and that's about it but that was original oil from 1955 54 when it came out um say i don't know august november who knows and it was all original there was a little bit left it was nasty so we ended up rebuilding that but because of the wear and tear and the bearings and all that they actually started to wear in it's kind of like when somebody neglects a brake job uh, discs even as well especially and when you start wearing out your pad material and you get down to metal, you have metal against metal. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the price goes up because you got to replace the disc. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the money is. So, and then the bearings, the races, and then you got pack them and the seals and all that stuff. But anyways, yeah, we did that about six years ago and fixed that up for them. And Dope. Just out quiet. We did something right, so. Dope. <laughs> Color dope. Like the wood back here. Yes. Super nice. Yes. The color, super nice. The chrome. 
It's a pretty cool car. The springs were replaced in the front. Uh, we repacked the front, the bearings, and serviced it, so all that's done. Even rebuilt the steering column and the entire shifter linkage, or the transmission. And then just uh, this morning, we finished, We finally got uh, the bushings in for the uh, column linkage. The, the metal inserts had long been, probably somebody threw them out and, I don't know, um, lost them. And they were gone, so it was riding against the rubber grommet. And, of course, metal against rubber doesn't really last. Yeah. And that's the reason for the bushing that slides in, so you'll have the metal. Just get a little dab of grease. You got metal against the rod that holds in. Clavis, clevis clip and bada-bing, bada-bang. <laughs> and she's working. This thing go 90 Perhaps miles per hour. better than the, the original. I don't know what this thing will do, but... Um, no, I'm looking at the dash. Can you believe it's only 90 miles per hour? They ain't hit it. They always overrid. 90 miles? Y'all wasn't doing nothing back in the day. This is a cruiser. And thought y'all was doing everything. I this know. This is a cruiser. You put in neutral, you go downhill, and you just hope that the road never ends. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would like a nice truck like this. Instead of buying a new one, I can literally drive. The thing is finding them, and this truck is clean. There it is. is literally no rust on it yeah it's beautiful surface that it's different than yeah rust, rust cancer rust yeah like the Mustang behind you. yeah, <laughs> yeah so, this look good dope color and this thing needs to run for about another five to say thousand mile by the way that's a solid lift cam and there you, can we wow. hear it uh sure i was about ready to fire that up the one thing we've been monitoring it so far we let her warm up she's not overheating so that's a good sign because it is a fresh motor it's tight and it still had the ring still need to seat in but uh, we've got quality oil listen to me never skimp on your oil and filter it's great insurance it's like you haven't tainted blood or drinking poison you know or something that's not good for you you know sugar a lot of sugar gmm oh or you know what i mean mm -hmm. but a motor is the same thing the only difference is it won't talk back to you it will when it's too late and you're footing the bill bull <laughs> it's a fact let's see stand in front and think she's in gear <laughs> Oh! <laughs> that just happened! <laughs> Sound good. A lot of going back and forth and tweaking and adjusting and bending and pulling and rerouting and um, to the point now, hey, you put the time in anything, goes without saying, you get what you put into it. Far enough. Sound great. Sound great. Look great. V6. All we got to do now, you can hear a slight little knock on the front. We already pre-latched them. Now that she's run in, we have to, we've already inspected and checked the oil after the initial break-in. Clean. And that's, a, that's, that's an important thing to remember because that's going to tell you if you had a successful break-in or you're shooting metal. And if you're shooting metal, it's only a matter of time before it takes itself out yeah so now somewhere up in the front we can hear it i don't even need my stethoscope i'm doing we're going to go ahead and tighten the one that's loose so on our intake for fort uh for 1955 is 15 thousandths on the exhaust is 19 thousandths on the lash okay so let's see. hear it yeah Quick little adjustment, a road test. Gather up all the paperwork, price it out, and call the customer. Go for a test drive. Camera shot a smile off of his face, hand him the keys, get paid. Next order of business. Yeah. Okay. So that's it, y'all. What y'all think about this joint, man? You hear that? Just shut right off. Nice it starts that way, too. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. None of that. <laughs> that costs you extra. <laughs> huh? So yeah, 1955 Ford F100 custom cab pickup overdrive edition, original. 
front to back. Right. Every little detail, with exception of the gauges. Nice. Uh, and that's about it. There, I don't know what the heck that you know, going through the dash looks like an open slot, just mm -hmm. to like when the cops pull you over to douse your beer. Is his interior original? Uh, his interior is pretty much well. No, it's not all original, but it's just been redone. But this is pretty much what you will find in 1955 on this truck. Yeah. Original brake system. Original clutch system. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's what I'm talking about right over there. Looks like just big enough to hide your beer. Oh, wow. You see that? Check it out above your head. Speaker. Look at the speaker. Bam. <laughs> Only. <laughs> How'd you like that? Oh, man. Go back into time and go, man, these guys don't have no music. Jeez. <laughs> Definitely a step back. It's pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. that truck's pretty cool. We had a 1930 original. The guy wanted us to chop it up. I'm like, oh, hell no. And it was like going back into time. It's like it is, you're like thinking your mind. Bonnie and Clyde sat here. Man, see six volt. Look at how dim that thing is. <laughs> and unfortunately, you can't hook any accessories up or a radio, really. Because in fact, as far as the stereo, there is no stereo. I forgot what that is. I think that's a a vent. It's not the. It looks like a speaker, but it's not. But I mean, this truck is well before my time. Man. And all the old guys, they're all pretty much on their deathbed they're long since died already so. yeah yeah and that's the thing it's just it, this is just the thing of the past and i believe the horn Jeez, still works. the horn still work damn that's crazy that's stuff right there <laughs> yeah that's crazy that's something that don't work a lot of times 80 grand she's yours oh <laughs> shit. that's about what that it's going for like a lot for an old truck well in this condition, sweetheart, where are you going to find them? That's a fact. They're not just hiding on every corner. That's a fact. Mm -mm. You can pretty much ask for what you want with this type of stuff. And also the location where you get it. I mean, this is in exceptional shape for being in Georgia. Yeah. There's not always friggin' rains around here. So you can leave a truck or vehicle or any metal object in the California desert or out in the high desert, mm. uh, Nevada, Arizona, some parts of Texas. 50 years later, I'm like, ah, just a little surface rust, you know? Mm -hmm. Here a couple seasons, and I Ooh. witnessed it to my own baby, and I freaked the you-know-what out. <laughs> right up here, I was driving, and it was raining like a mother, and water started pouring in through the top. Oh. And when I got back home, I saw three pinholes up here. One of them was like about three-eighth of an inch opening, yeah. three-sixteenths. Never been there before. Truck was a virgin. Damn. California truck through and through I come here after two seasons of rain rust well it's not as bad as Chicago so y'all all good well yeah but that's salt my trucks that's my baby. And, yeah <laughs> man all right y'all so this is it hey comment down below tell me what y'all think about it and on this one we didn't find it off-road dead well yeah we did but we brought it back <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. In an old truck like this, I guess it is common to fix or repair daily. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for tuning in to American Garage TV. We're here at Jim Speed Shop. Again, I'm your host, Jim, Hot Rod Jim. And if you like more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And until then, again, I'm Jim, and we'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.